Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you guys. This is my birthing vlog. Why am I talking like that? <laughs> okay, so this is my birth vlog and I wanted to share with you guys some information before we get into the video itself. So I went to my doctor this week um, today is August 26. I went to my um, I went to the doctor August 24th. I actually went to two doctors. So I went to my OB in the afternoon, but earlier that day I had to go to a um, another doctor to do a ultrasound. They had to do a in-depth ultrasound to find out like the size of the baby they wanted to see how far along I am get an accurate reading um, it's not always 100% but you know it gives you an idea so we went um, well I went my husband waited in the car um, I went and they did all their measurements and baby is measuring at six pounds 13 ounce so she was pretty much just one ounce away because I believe after six 14 six pounds 14 ounce then the baby becomes seven pounds I think don't quote me on that I was just looking on Google and that's what I saw so um, I went to the doctor that's how much she measured baby and then she said I was measuring a couple days ahead so today I am actually 36 weeks one day based on what we've been going by for the last nine months but when they did the reading today I would have been 36 weeks in like five days or something like that four or five days I don't remember but either way um, with all of that they did find a lot of fluids fluid in my tummy area she said she's not too worried about it but she wanted me to come in for another appointment next week I mean if you're not worried then I don't need to come in for an appointment do I but she had me scheduled for an appointment next week Friday Unfortunately, this is where the good part gets. Spoke to my OB after that appointment and she decided that Tuesday the 31st, she is going to sweep my membrane, which is pretty much getting me ready for baby. Her plan is not to do a full sweep because she's still, based on the calendar that we've been working with, I will be 36 weeks six days um, Tuesday the 31st um, September 1st which is a Wednesday I would be 37 weeks her goal is to sweep me Tuesday but not sweep me to the point where I go in labor same day she want me to go in labor the next day do I want to wait till the next day not really <laughs> But that's what her goal is. I am ready to have this baby girl. I feel like a hippo. Um, the pain is uncomfortable. Um, it's getting more and more painful every day just to get up out of bed. Just to walk to the, the restroom to go use the, the, the potty is excruciating. So... I am definitely ready to 
get this over with so i will see you guys in the next clip which would be next week tuesday when i get my sweep so i'll let you guys know what happened i know when i got my sweep with my second born because she sweeped him out as well um he came within four hours but she did a full sweep so within she did a sweep like after 11 12 and by four o'clock he was born so that's not her goal next week um so i will definitely keep you guys updated on what's going on so continue to watch and stay tuned hope you guys enjoy this bird vlog this is my first time doing a bird vlog so i'm kind of nervous so i won't be showing you guys all my body parts now <laughs> but i'm definitely excited to share this memory with you guys so i'll see you guys y'all I wanted to give y'all an update so we are on the way to my doctor's office right now I have to do my um, membrane sweep today so there's a possibility baby might come today or she may come tomorrow we are open for today right we're open for today but my doctor wants her to come tomorrow because today I am 36 weeks and six days and she wants her to come 37 weeks which is tomorrow so we are open she come between today and tomorrow I am super nauseous my back hurts I'm having a contraction hey guys so I wanted to come give you guys an update I am home now I just left the doctor um, to do the membrane sweep it didn't go well because if you've never had a membrane sweep before that shit is painful so she had a hard time doing it because y'all the pain was so unbearable she was able to do a little bit but I don't know she said to meet her at the hospital tomorrow so we'll see what happens I am extremely disappointed though because I was hoping to be able to do the sweep so that baby girl could be here tomorrow um, I've done a membrane sweep before and even then it was hard with my second born she had to do it three times to get it done because it was so painful so just want to give you guys an update so the next time you guys see me probably more update regarding baby girl so Right now it's all flat lines. I don't see no contractions. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he's starting? 
Happy September, guys. So, I wanted to give you guys an update, but first we're going to do a small little room tour. And through that door is the bathroom. Got my sink. And I got my hubby over here. And then we got me. So, just to give you guys some update. Yesterday, we tried to get my membrane sweep. That was a hot mess because it was so painful. And then today we had to come to the hospital and we tried to do another membrane sweep again that was a hot mess it was painful membrane sweep is horrible i would not suggest getting it it's helpful but it's horrible um after the sweep i walked around the room for over an hour and when i came in i was one and a half centimeters then I went from one, no, yesterday I was one and a half. This morning when I came to the hospital, I was four, because yesterday hubby and I went walking. Um, I was four, Ooh, hold on, contraction. figure if I breathe through it it helps um yeah so when I came in this morning I was four um I walked um we tried to do another sweep and I lost my train of thought try to do another sweep that wasn't all the way successful but it was somewhat successful um, I went from four to five when I started walking for over an hour, then I went to six. So they decided to keep me. Um, now I'm having contractions more. So the issue was I was getting dilated, but the contraction weren't what they wanted but then that completely changed so now i'm having it like every five minutes or so and it's painful but if i breathe through it i'm good so i won't be able to record the birthing process but i'll definitely keep you guys updated with what's going on right now i'm chilling having my ice walk my ice because I forgot I should have ate before I came here and now I can't eat nothing and I'm starving. Extremely hungry. So I did show you guys the room, but over there you got all the monitors. You can hear baby heartbeat. That's the baby station once she gets here. Um, this is not our final room. This is our second room since we've been here. This is just the labor and delivery room. Once baby gets here, we'll go to our main. So today's September 1st, and we may be having a baby today. So keep you guys updated. Recording. Oh. <laughs> Is she going to come out hairy with a whole lot of hair on her head? <laughs> hey guys, so I wanted to come back and give you guys an update. So I just had my epidural. The doctor came in and burst my water. And now I'm seven centimeters dilated. And I'm about to go take a nap because I'm kind of feeling tired and I want to be somewhat rested when it's time to push. Um, I think that's it. I don't think there was anything else done. But, hopefully.
hopefully when I see you guys again, baby girl will be here. It sucks that I can't record the, the delivery, but oh well. Hey guys, so I wanted to share an update with you. Uh, just woke up from a nap. But baby girl is 10 centimeters, but they want her to come down some more before I start pushing. Um, so it's almost time. It is now, uh, let me check my phone. I can't check my phone. Uh, 4.24. So I did say she'll be here about 6, but let's see. They just want her to come down some more. I was just on the peanut ball. They kept switching me from side to side. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much the update I have for you guys. Uh, I was feeling... Um, nauseous earlier uh, and uh, had a headache because I haven't eaten all day <sighs> but baby girl will be here soon quick update guys it's time to push so she is ready to come out so we're about to they're about to start setting up so we can push are you ready daddy So, it's about time to meet baby girl. Oh, you're so sweet. You're back. <laughs> <laughs> that I was close. I said six or four. I was like, so. you just have to concede that you're not a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> so are the kids not speaking you still? No, I tried calling them. They're doing their own thing, playing, having a jolly good time. Jolly good time. Surely good time. So let's we'll see how it's bombed that leg and I don't come home tonight. You think they gonna miss you? They've never been without me before. You think they gonna miss you? Yeah. Especially my baby. The baby, baby. I ain't worried about you. <laughs> I ain't worried about you. Now, does y'all have the whole talk? There's another baby coming. That's what I want to know. There about. ain't no more baby coming. No, no, no. No, no I'm saying at home. Like, did y'all talk oh, to them about? I thought you meant me and another baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we I'm this talking is, about this is the last. I'm talking about to the children. What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> yeah, we we yeah, spoke we to them. Yes. My, my <laughs> older is my older is happy. He's happy. Yes. He, he is a meanie. He doesn't want anybody in her room. She has her own room, and anytime I go in there, he says, "Get out of this room." Oh, yeah. She's already overprotective. She's not here yet. The little baby, she can care less. He doesn't understand yet. Oh, with her leg. I can't move it. Good job. Don't go hard on her. You gotta lift this up. Come on, go, 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 go. Harder, 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 more, 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 more. All right, take a deep breath in. Breath in. And go. Harder, 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 more, 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 more. Okay, breathe. All right, you got one more? Yep. And push. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, 
show you her without exposing myself but she's here she came at 509 and I said six <laughs> so I was close <laughs> if you consider an hour away close but she's here I'm so happy look at my baby girl she's very curious she has not closed her eyes since she's been here not to mention she gave us the middle finger. <laughs> but she's really quiet and just chilling. Nice to see you, little baby girl. Welcome to the world, little baby. Mommy's so happy to have you here. But y'all, that was the quickest delivery I've ever had when it comes to pushing. She came out so fast. I think I pushed like three times. Bam, she was here. <laughs> All right, I'm about to go spend some time with her. And I'll get back to you guys. Um, sorry if the quality is bad, guys. I'm on my phone, and my husband went to the car to get our stuff before they close the door and do not allow him inside. So, um, using my phone, my camera is in my bag, and I can't reach it. So, baby girl is here. And I'm happy. So stay tuned for her picture. I'll show you guys along with her name. Hi, little journey. Hey, are you hungry again? You are. Welcome to the world, little baby. Welcome to the world, little mama. <laughs> <laughs> 